All right, now it's time for talking with Joe. Joe Rose is live from the WQAM studios this morning. Joe, we're going to talk a bit more about that incredible Dolphins game yesterday. And of course, moving forward, what happens with Jake Cutler? So he has uh, an injury to his ribs. What have you heard as far as when he might be back and whether there'll be that competition for that starting job? Well, I don't think there's going to be a competition. I always love when everybody says there's going to be an open competition. <laughs> I don't think it's going to happen. But I will say this, with Jay Cutler being out with either broken or bruised ribs, he's going to be out for a while, and it's going to be Matt Moore's time to shine like he did last year late in the season when he had to take over for Ryan Tannehill. And this team and the offensive players around him have a lot of confidence, and there's a good chance Thursday night he's going to have Devontae Parker back as well for their three wide set, which will also give them another weapon. But yeah, there's a lot of confidence in Matt Moore. Matt Moore's clearly one of the best backup quarterbacks in the National Football League. He's proven that, by the way. He played yesterday again and last year. It's going to be his job, though, I think, in the near future here as we take a look over the next couple of games. And then it comes down to how well he's playing. And if he's playing well, it's hard for me to imagine that Adam Gase wouldn't continue to play him until Jay Cutler gets completely healthy. Hey, cracked or broken ribs or bruised ribs, they don't heal overnight. Yeah. It's going to take a while, and the better Matt Moore plays, the more time Jay Cutler is going to have to get healthy. Yeah, Cutler, when he was on the sidelines and they were checking him out, you saw him wincing. It certainly looked painful, so of course we wish him a speedy recovery. Oh, no, he's in pain. Let's bring those wins, keep bringing them into the Dolphins right now. And speaking of wins, another just Miami in. team. Just bring them in, Joe. Just bring them in. Let's see, can the, uh, the Hurricanes, rather, keep bringing in those wins? Another big game. Let's talk about about their ranking here. I'm looking at it ranked eighth right now. Do you think this is really a top 10 team? I'm sure Canes fans will say absolutely, Joe. Well, we, we got Mark Rick coming up here in a little while this morning, and I, I know he's a little frustrated that they're not able to put teams away early on. I mean, they had four takeaways early in that game. Four interceptions by the Canes defense. Should have been a chance for them to just take this game and run away with it. But they allowed Syracuse to hang around. They didn't finish them. They're kicking field goals instead of scoring touchdowns. But saying all that, Saying all that, that was nothing more than a tease, Lauren, because when you're undefeated, you're in a Power 5 conference, you're undefeated again. I'm going to say it over and over. There's only eight teams in the country, then that means they should be a top 10 team. They're playing well enough to win, and that's all that matters. It's not about winning by 40 or 50. They just got to continue to win these games. Exactly. That's all that matters. And guess what? The producer is yelling at me. She's Joe, wrapping you shut up. Shut up. Get off the air. <laughs> we got other stuff. Move it on, Joe. Stop it. You've talked too long. And you've got Mark I'm Rick done. coming up. And you've got Mark Rick coming up. So we'll let you go so you can talk to him. Let's Thank talk you. about more Kane's good stories. And that turnover chain came out quite a bit this past weekend. So maybe the defense can keep doing that in the next game as well. Joe, yeah, thanks so much. I like that. It's cool. Bling, bling. <laughs> Bye -bye. Thank you. Oh, yeah. I love it.